Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Drink Beer. I'm here today at South Halifax Park in Robbinsdale, Minnesota. Um, just stopped by the liquor store. Um, I was planning to do um, something by Fair State Brewing today um, on suggestion from uh, one of my friends, but I thought they had it at that liquor store, but they didn't. So um, I'm here today at South Halifax Park drinking a shell fire brick. Whoops, I partially opened it just to get the foam off. Uh, it's a Vienna style amber lager. Um, for those of you who don't know, Shell's Brewery, August Shell's Brewery, um, is located in New Ulm, Minnesota. Um, it's about an hour south southwest of Minneapolis. Um, and it is the second oldest family owned brewery uh, in the U.S. after Coors. So if you count Coors, I, uh, I mean, even if the Coors family still owns it, I mean, it's so big it's hard to really call it family owned, especially when, you know, it's a publicly traded stock. Um, but anyway, um, yes, it says right there, since, whoops. Go. It says it somewhere in there. Since 1860. So, um, Minnesota became a state in 1858. So, this beer, this brewery, is uh, two years younger than the state of Minnesota. Um, Shell's Fire Brick is a refreshing Vienna style amber lager named after the bricks that line the old boilers. A hint of hops combined with subtle maltiness create a mild, pleasantly drinkable beer. Uh, 4.8%, 24 IBU. I've had this before and I really like it. Um, so, let's give her a try. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, it's malty. It's got this huge malt backbone and the hops that are there only, it's just enough to really kind of drive home. Um, that maltiness, it's, it's sweet, it's refreshing, um, it's fairly light for a dark beer. I don't know if you'd call it a dark beer, but it's, you know, it's darker than a PBR or a Coors or um, one of those beers. Um, so the reason I really wanted to do oh shit a German Shepherd just ran by here. It's a puppy. Ah. Uh -huh. So that was fun. Hold up, there's someone coming to talk to me. How you doing, man? Good, how are you doing? Good. Usually I come and make sure no one's back here to park and throw the ball. No, it's not a problem. I got two of my own at home, so you're good. Just a dude playing with his dog. That's always nice. Um, yeah, so, um, the reason I wanted to do Fair State is, um, they recently, in the last year, I want to say, um, the brewery unionized, and I'm not sure if I'm recalling correctly, but the, um, the management of the brewery, the owners of the brewery, whatever, um, didn't really stand in the workers way um, their right to unionize which is a contrast to a certain other brewery in town um, early <clears throat> who when the workers 
announce their intent to unionize, uh, laid them off under pretense of, well, sales are slow because of COVID. And that's, maybe that's true, but I find that really hard to believe. Anytime, uh, anytime someone gets in, in the way of a worker's right to unionize, you know, I, I know what side I'm on. All workers deserve the right to form a union, to have a union represent them, to collectively bargain for their rights. Um, except cops. Cops aren't workers. Cops are fucking strike breakers. Um, all cops are bastards. Every one of them. Even the nicest cop is still going to evict a family. Even the nicest cop still signed up to enforce racist laws in a country founded on genocide and built by slavery. And if, if cops don't want people to hate them so much, they can fucking quit. They can take that uniform off. Um, they're gross. Fuck a cop. When I see people defending their rights and their families and their communities and their, and their lives on one side and on the other side I see these fucking assholes launching off, <clears throat> launching off pepper spray and shooting people, cuffed in the street, shooting them in the street like a fucking rabid dog. I, I don't have to think twice about which side I'm on. And I don't really care if this loses me any fans, because if you think cops killing people, cops evicting people is okay, I don't fucking want you as a fan. Um, that's about all I got to say about that. But uh, back to this beer. Um, I really do like... Uh, I like pretty much everything that Shells does. Um, the Firebrick is probably my favorite. Um, it's just such a, I don't know, it just hits different. Um, the brewery down in New Ulm, Shell's Brewery, um, they actually have a, a, a deer pen, their mascot, let's see if I can show you that, their mascot's a deer. <clears throat> and they have a bunch of deer, um, like on the grounds. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice park here. I'll give you a little, kind of a smaller park. Got a little pond behind me. Um, there's a hill, and then over there, like past where that guy is. Railroad tracks, and then um, another park, so Sachaki, Sachaki Park. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. So New Ulm, where Shells is based, um, huge German influence on the town. Um, they have the largest Oktoberfest in the world outside of Munich, so that's kind of dope. I actually, um, a few years ago, I went down there to play um, some disc golf, and it wound up being the day after Oktoberfest ended, and the streets were filled with garbage, and I don't know if I saw five other people in that whole town, um, thinking everyone was just kind of pulled up, sleeping it off. It's a nice day out today. 70, maybe 75. Sunny, clear skies. I really do. I really
really do enjoy this one. I finished off 12 packs of these by myself in a day. They're just, um, they're nice, it's that multi-pack on, it's a little bit sweet, just enough, just enough hops that it's not too sweet. what uh, what else I could compare it to maybe a little bit like green excuse me Ooh. maybe a little bit like green belt northeast uh, which is also brewed by shells um, yeah fine beer. It's good to... I was going to do, um... I was going to do an Andy Gets Gas episode on the way home, but we had a meeting at work today, and we got pizza, and I filled up on pizza. Kind of had a little bit of, a uh, little bit of the old heartburn going on right now, because I'm old now. I don't know. I don't know what else I gotta say. How y'all doing? You holding up okay? I hope so. Things are, um... Things are kind of fucked up right now. And I think it's really important to find the... the little moments, the little pieces of beauty in the mundane. Get back to some wholesome activities like drinking in the park. You may notice I have both hands free. Um, I actually made a little phone stand sticks. It seems to work pretty okay. Um, I'll probably try to do an Andy Gets Gas uh, either tomorrow or Saturday. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing an Andy drink beer this weekend, um, possibly with a special guest star, so stay tuned for that, um, hit the like, hit the subscribe, any beers you want me to drink, let me know, any parks that I should drink in, let me know, and um, obviously any, any food from gas stations that I need to try. You know, give me a heads up on that. I always appreciate the comments. I read and respond to every comment you guys leave me. And, um, I have to finish this up and head home. I still have like a third of a beer. Because I started ranting against cops. <laughs> There's less productive things to do than hate on cops. As long as they're around, they're going to keep killing people. Every time I hear about a cop that gets shot, the first thing I think of is that's a black person who's going to make it home tonight. I'm not saying go out and shoot cops, but I'm not discouraging it. I know what side I'm on. It's like that old song. It's 
side are you on? All done. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. And um, see you next time. Stay peaceful, y'all.